Um, I know today's conversation is an interesting one, um, and I would say, coming from where I have been, you know, I've been in healthcare only for six years now. Some of you probably are experts. For many, many years. I would say that the first and foremost point that comes to my mind is that we are sitting in healthcare where a very unequal relationship between the doctor or the provider and the patient. Uh, what I mean by that is that we all claim we know a few things, but we have to accept that the doctor knows more and probably actually knows much more than all of us do. So it's a very unequal relationship that we have. And in the context of that, in today's context, many of us have a trust deficit. I mean, we might go to a doctor, get a consultation done. Chances are on the way we are calling another doctor and saying, hey, this is what he has recommended. What do you think I should do? Uh, some details somewhere I read said that almost 70-75% of all consultations have a second opinion done in an informal manner, if not in a formal manner. So there is a huge trust deficit that exists uh, with regard to whether I am have been diagnosed right and whether I am taking the right kind of a treatment and so on. Now that's one part of the perspective and within that you have a situation where we are talking about artificial intelligence and external influence if you may into letting us know whether we are following the right course of treatment and, and we are looking at how to bring in greater precision into diagnosis and into treatment. I mean, we all know that uh, diagnosis almost 70%, the right diagnosis, almost 70% of the problem solved. Um, once you know what it is, then the treatment to it is far better and far easier. Now, we, from whatever I have seen, um, AI continues to be a I would say it is in its nascent form and that is what this whole group is going to be talking about. The, the reality is that we use AI for radiology and, and we are able to do get better insights about the kind of ailment and the extent of the ailment through artificial intelligence. I've seen it with, with uh, diabetic retinopathy, I've seen it with oncology and so on and so forth. Um, but when it comes to, um, let us say, service management or customer interface, there is a sense that one prefers to talk to a human being and one tends to kind of look for such opportunities before or such exposures before they really start trusting the AI uh, models of conversation.